How to become a Catholic priest? Becoming a Catholic priest is a serious decision. If you feel God's calling and believe that a life of celibacy and devotion to God is for you, this may be the path you are meant to make. The life of a Catholic priest is a calling to serve God as well as those in need around you. Entering the clergy at a young age. Meet the basic requirements. In the Roman Catholic Church, a priest must be male and unmarried. Many Eastern Catholic churches will ordain married men. You must be at least 25 years old to become a priest, but this is rarely an issue unless you complete your studies unusually early. Get involved at your parish. Before you even think about going to college or to the seminary, it's a good idea to get started helping out at your parish. The longer your history as a practicing Catholic in good standing, the easier it will be to enter the priesthood. Get to know your favorite priest. Tell him your interests in joining the seminary and see if you can assist him during services or when he goes to visit sick members of the church or participates in area activities, in addition to altar services, help out with singing and reading. Getting thorough knowledge of the books and hymnal will make everything much easier down the road. Assess your beliefs. Becoming a priest is not a decision to take lightly. It is a path that takes years to complete and is not for the faint of heart or belief. If you at all see yourself doing anything else, priesthood may not be for you. These sources of insight may help you make your decision. Pray for God's assistance in discerning your situation. Participate in Mass regularly. Developing a relationship with your parish's clergy. Ask for advice from a vocational director or any trusted mentor within the church. Attend college recommended. A bachelor degree typically makes it easier to enter seminary, and reduces the length of seminary studies by a couple years. A degree in philosophy or theology prepares you best, but a degree in any subject can demonstrate your dedication and ability. While in college, get involved in your campus ministry. Use this time to attend retreats, help other students, and connect with your new parish or diocese. While in college, get involved in your campus ministry. Use this time to attend retreats, help other students, and connect with your new parish or diocese. Enter a seminary. Apply to seminaries through your diocese or through the religious order. If at all possible, enter a seminary that awards a Master of Divinity, and is accredited by the Association of Theological Schools if you are in the U.S. or Canada. Ask your parish how to get started. Every school has a different application process. You may need reference letters, proof of church involvement, a certain GPA, and a statement of interest, to name the basics. The questions may cover physical health, emotional well-being, conformity of behavior with Catholic tradition, and broad knowledge of church doctrine. Every school has a different application process. You may need reference letters, proof of church involvement, a certain GPA, and a statement of interest, to name the basics. The questions may cover physical health, emotional well-being, conformity of behavior with Catholic tradition, and broad knowledge of church doctrine. Excel in seminary school. In seminary, you'll spend your years studying philosophy, Latin, Greek, Gregorian chants, dogmatic and moral theology, exegesis, canon law, and church history, just to get you started. Program length varies based on prior education and the amount of time you can devote to it, but a typical student enrolls in four years of graduate-level theology, and zero to four years of undergraduate philosophy and or spiritual years. You will also be attending retreats, conferences, and workshops as regular aspects of your training. You will be guided on meditation and solitude and be given adequate time to hone your public speaking skills. You will also be attending retreats, conferences, and workshops as regular aspects of your training. You will be guided on meditation and solitude and be given adequate time to hone your public speaking skills. Become ordained as deacon. After completing seminary, a bishop may call you to holy orders and ordain you to the ministry. You will now serve as a deacon for at least six months. Don't worry too much about whether you will be ordained. If there are issues that could prevent your ordination, you will likely discover them during seminary. If you are not chosen to be a priest or you leave seminary early, you may be able to request a refund of the tuition. The response depends on seminary policy and your financial situation. Don't worry too much about whether you will be ordained. If there are issues that could prevent your ordination, you will likely discover them during seminary. If you are not chosen to be a priest or you leave seminary early, you may be able to request a refund of the tuition. The response depends on seminary policy and your financial situation.
Enter the priesthood. Depending on your country's tradition, you may enter the priesthood after a relatively short term, or choose to remain as a deacon permanently. There are multiple forms of priesthood, which you will learn about in detail during seminary. F11 class equals, reference, aria label equals, link to reference 11, greater than diocesan priests serve the church in a geographic area. This includes parish priests, chaplains, and religious teachers, among others. They promise celibacy and obedience. Religious priests join the global community of a religious order or congregation, such as the Benedictines or Franciscans. These priests make formal vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, with some variation among different orders.